Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 12 of the August Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about uh, today's prom. Uh, today we have a medium prom, 2787, ways to express an integer S sum of powers. Let's go. Uh, today I kept it easy. I just did upper body day with a four mile one easy run, very slow pace. Just kind of keep my legs fresh. Tomorrow's my speed day, so tomorrow's going to be the murder day. Uh, feels like from last week, so um, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't look forward to it. But today we have this farm, so we, let's let's get yeah, let's get to it. Of 2787, ways to express an integer as a sum, as sum of powers. Return the number, or oh, given n and x, return the number of way n can be expressed as a sum of x power of u x power of unique positive integers in other words the number of sets of unique integers n dot 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 where n is equal to the number of sets of unique integers okay oh so that huh it's really weird the way this is phrased, that's why I'm just trying to reread it a few times. So, numbers could be very big. We turn mod, so let's do mod, 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 mod before we forget. Mod, 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 right? Uh, okay. Oh, 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 x is the power. I see, I see. I was a little bit confused about. I was like. I thought x was the. Uh, I, I mixed up the things. So I was like, isn't it just like always one? Except for the number one, because then it's just like base or something like that. <coughs> like, because I was like, sorry, I dropped my pencil that I was pulling around my finger. But in any case, um, yeah, I thought it was like two to the power of whatever. And, and I was like, oh, there's only one. I don't get it. But no, no, it's three to, it's, it's numbers. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, X is equal to five is interesting for sure. Um, hmm. How would I think about this? I mean, n is 300 is also uh, interesting because then that just means that we can possibly um, do dynamic programming, right? Because, um, yeah, uh, I mean, let's just use x is equal to 2 for as an example because I feel like that's an easy example to kind of visualize. Uh, x, x is equal to 1 is trivial, so I don't want to do it that way. But x is equal to 2 um, means that it is some number... Uh, I don't like that the n to the x is way much weirder than x to the n. I get a little bit confused. But I just say, um, mm, I'm trying to look at other variables on my keyboard, uh, which are like, I mean, they use both x and n, so it's kind of confusing. Right, right, I use, I, I know you use p for power, but it's just like, uh, okay, a, right? Let's just say a. a to the p, right? And I just say p is equal to 2. Um, that means that for, for, a, for the sum of whatever you goes to 300 that means that we just want to square root of 300 or it goes up to which i don't know what it is what is it like 16 17 ish uh, uh that's i don't know right yeah a uh, little bit 17 ish say but what let's like you even say 20 right 20 i know because 20 square is 400 but what i mean is that by 20 that means that if you do some sort of dynamic program you don't have to only loop through numbers up to 20, right? And that should be pretty straightforward. You have 300 numbers. Even if you do 20 loops each, that's 6,000 total loops, if you will, or total inside the loop, if you will. Um, and that's just, you know, that should be fine. And this gets easier because if uh, P is equal to 5, this is even smaller, right? I don't even know what it is. What is it, like 3 to the 5 maybe is already too big, maybe? I don't know. Where's my calculator? Okay, 3 to the 5 is too small, or, or just 2 to the... 3 to the 5th is 243, so so that means that P is equal to 5, it's very small. My point is that, so this gives me opportunity to do it with memorization or dynamic programming or top-down dynamic programming for easy. Um, what is the opposite case, right? Opposite, or opposite, like in terms of complexity, is that P is equal to 1. Well, it's 300. You could say maybe it's 300 square, and that's probably fine, and I think that's... Yeah, wait, can you do it? Does that do it? Oh, they're unique positive integers, right? In fact, so, so yeah, so that should be actually pretty straightforward to write, right? Um, 
Yeah. In fact, I wanted to write it. I, I like writing things top down, but I don't even think it's. Um, like they all, you have to like the optimizations are a little trickier to understand or to go through top down. So I'm going to do it bottom up as well. I was going to say, All right? Uh, and and with p is equal to one is just a very standard. Um, what is it? Not quite knapsack, but a knapsack e problem, right? So, so yeah. So I, I wouldn't really think about it that much, right? For example, um, and then this is a, a very standard raise problem, right? Meaning raise to go from, um. I like fake and wait. Oops, how did that go away? Where uh, oops, raise sub i is you go to the num number of ways to get to i, right? And then raise sub zero is you go to one. And then here, um, yeah. So you could do something like for i in range of even n. Technically, it is like you could say power of n to the one over x or something like that, right? Uh, maybe plus one just to kind of, I don't know, even plus two just to kind of make it whatever, um, just for funds. And then you, um, the way to kind of do this so that each number appears once, you just want to roll it backwards. Um, you don't need to do it this way. Um, if you do it forward, um, you just have to be careful and. In theory, that is the same way as memorization, which is a top-down way, um, and you have to cut. But what happens is that uh, you have to add an extra dimension, right? Well, it's not. I wouldn't say it's add an extra dimension. It's just that you have to factor it in because it is probably the more canonical way of writing it. But I am a little bit lazy today, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. So then now uh, that means that current maybe c is equal to power of um, what is it? I to the I to the X, right? I always I still kick a little country. And we do positive integer, so let's start at one. So then now we just have to do a uh, for J in range from N uh, all the way down to zero, say. Um, then raise sub J is just you go to raise sub J minus C, right? Or add to it rather. Um, of course, that assumes that this is greater than zero. And uh, yeah, and then at the end, we just return raise sub n, and don't forget the mod. You also shouldn't forget about the mod after you add, and that should be good, hopefully. Uh, okay, fine. We just have to int it, right? Yeah, that looks okay. Let's try, uh, I think this is the worst timing complexity, but we'll also try just like a funky, you know, power to the fifth number just to be fun. And it looks okay. I mean, I, uh, this is maybe probably post mod, so we'll give it a quick submit, and there we go. Uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, uh, I mean, honestly, uh, uh, the reading part, at least for me, I, you know, I, I'm bad at reading, is a little bit uh, annoying, but otherwise, pretty straightforward. After that, um, well, maybe not straightforward. Sorry, straightforward is not quite the right way to say it. Um, it's just that it's standard, right? It is textbook. Um, they're probably, if you just kind of uh, digest the, the n to the x thing, there are probably like five or maybe even more really problems on lead code that are exactly the same with just counting the number of ways. So this is, I think they, they used to call this count the ways or something. Um, maybe Google for that or just DP and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and definitely if you are a little bit confused the way that I phrased this, um, try to do it top down, keeping the um, I as an other state and or another dimension as the part of the input and then uh, see if you could space optimize that out. Um, it's not a honestly it's not an easy space optimization but um, it can be done. I mean you saw it. So yeah that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, oh yeah let me go over the complexity I guess I forgot. I mean this is gonna be n squared in the worst case which is when x is equal to 1 right um, which is technically pseudo polynomial, um, if you could say. Um, yeah, yeah, but also exponential. You want to say that way too, and the size of the input. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. I, I don't think it's pseudo polynomial at all. I think it's just exponential, to be honest, and the size of the input. But uh, yeah, uh, it's something like two to the two to the n squared or something like that, right? Or maybe, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have with this one. Or oh, two to the two n, one of the two. I don't know. 
I'm tired. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.